Under decimals. Rounding to four numbers. In other words, this. A lot of times it just comes up to mind here. The book asks the question is, if you were rounding um, round seven dollars and eighty-six cents to the nearest dollar. Which means, you know, your mom was gonna give you money. Well, I guess that doesn't work. If you think about this, here is seven dollars. Here is eight dollars. Halfway in the middle between seven dollars and eight dollars would be seven dollars fifty cents. Seven dollars eighty six cents would be about well here's sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Eighty six cents would be right about here. This would be seven dollars eighty six cents. When we're round, when we round, we go to the closest whole number that you have. So obviously in this case, rounding seven dollars eighty six cents, you would round up to eight dollars. Can you lift me on that? Yes. I think that's probably relatively simple. But it doesn't have to be dollars. What if the number was something like 65.4863984024? And I asked you what full number that would be closest to. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you this. All of those decimal digits given after that, most of them don't matter. When you're rounding to the nearest whole number, the only decimal number that matters is the one right after the decimal point. You can forget all about these because we've talked about this before. When you get farther away from the decimal, those digits mean less and less and less and less and less and less. So you get way up here, hardly, it hardly doesn't even matter back there. Okay. So the only thing you look at are is the decimal right after the digit right after the decimal. And that's what tells you whether this stays 65 or it's going to go up to 66. And the rule is just like rounding the other, any other number. If this is 5 or greater, that goes up. If this is 4 or less, it stays the same. So 65.4863984024 would simply just round to, maybe, 65. Okay, don't let the amount of digits fool you. Just like $7.86, the only digit that really mattered was that 8. And since it's 0.8, which puts it way up here, it's going to be closer to $8 than it is going to be to $7. Uh, another example would be, you know, 96.41. 96.41 hundredths. What would that round to if I said round to the nearest whole number? And please don't put 0, .0 after it. If we're rounding to the nearest whole number, it is just a whole number. You don't add decimals or fractions or any of that stuff to it. Elizabeth? 96. You would just get 96. Okay. If it was 96.52, it would round to Laney? 97. Okay, again, the only thing that matters is this 5, and the only thing that matters is that 4. Um, what else might they ask you there? Fifteen dollars six cents. Fifteen dollars six cents. If I said round to the nearest dollar, you would tell me that it rounds to Lance. Fifteen. Fifteen. That seems relatively easy, doesn't it? Yes. Make sure you put your dollars in there. Matt, 